My first name is Gloria, and I have just finished a picture at Paramount called uh, Sunset Boulevard. Sunset Boulevard is one of the greatest movies ever made. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. I don't think anyone could have played that part but Gloria Swanson. And Sunset Boulevard was her crowning moment. I wonder if I might ask you a personal question. You want to know my age? Gloria Swanson was only 50, but that was old then. And after Sunset Boulevard, no one was asking me uh, to make another picture. She never regained a foothold after Sunset Boulevard, but she was wise enough to know that Sunset Boulevard was her ticket. I'll show them. I'll be up there again, so help me. The fabulous Gloria Swanson herself. She developed this mad idea to adapt her film Sunset Boulevard as a musical. And she approached my writing partner and I to do this. There was no mystery that Richard and Dixon were a couple. Gloria was starting to have romantic inclinations towards Richard, who she knew was in a relationship with Dixon. So you had the real life story of a mature woman fascinated by a younger man, happening both in the Sunset Boulevard storyline and in the true life storyline that we were living. I have a hunch that romance and love are not dead. She was an extraordinary person. Coming in contact with Gloria Swanson, it was complicated. Unintended masses become uncontrollable. Richard was a looker. Very handsome, very macho, very gay. As far as the public was concerned, he was a straight guy. Obviously, there was more to that story. There was a relationship between Dixon and I. I'd always been a very private person. And then suddenly, the truth came out. It's a wonderful Hollywood story about when you've once been idolized by millions of people, and then those millions don't show up anymore. I am the the picture that got small. It's about three people's lives and the similarity with the original film. The whole background was really quite weird. 